Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you the perfect recipe for the most amazing chicken parmesan you'll ever have. Here's what you're going to need just to make the sauce. Extra virgin olive oil, crushed peeled Italian plum tomatoes, white wine, garlic, hot pepper flakes, Kalamata olives, pitted, if I can get it open, here we go, pitted Kalamata olives, fresh parsley, you're also going to need fresh basil, and of course, salt and pepper. Now we're going to go to the stove and start making the sauce. Now I have a pan preheating at a medium high heat, I'm going to drizzle in two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, adding in my garlic that I've sliced thinly. Now, chicken parm, I mean, it's it's a kind of dish that you know you've had it at least once if you've gone to an Italian restaurant. It's really, it's like your basic to-go-to Italian meal. It really is. That and lasagna that I, can, that I can think of. But to me, believe it or not, it wasn't something I grew up eating when I was in Italy, so it wasn't, I wasn't sure how to get it, you know, adapt to it because it wasn't my favorite. It's really bland. It's just sauce and cheese. So the way I make it is with just like lots of flavor in the sauce, a couple different cheeses to just really bring up the flavor of the Parmesan. It's all around amazing. Just trust me, make this recipe once and you'll forever be hooked. Now, my garlic needs to cook for just a couple minutes. Just till it's lightly golden and then we'll add in our hot pepper flakes. Just so you know, you should always have, before you start cooking anything that it involves cooking pasta, bring a large pan of um, water to a boil so that it's ready for whenever you're ready to put the pasta in because it takes a long time for the water to come to a boil. My garlic is almost there. I'm going to put it in some hot pepper flakes. I'm just going to go with about a quarter teaspoon, but it's all up to you. depends how you like it, how spicy you like it. Smells so good. Okay. Now I'm going to put in the white wine. Ah, what the heck. Now you want the wine to reduce. You want all the alcohol to cook out. So it's going to take about three to four minutes. You want it to reduce by half. And then we'll add in the tomatoes. My wine's reduced. So now I'm going to add my crushed, peeled Italian tomatoes. Mm. Be careful because nothing splashes, splatters like tomatoes. I'm going to add two cans because I like a lot of salsa on my spaghetti and my chicken parm. So and you can always store this in the fridge for a few days. Put it on some chicken breast, toss it with some pasta a few days later. You're good to go. Season it with salt and pepper. Let's grab it. And yes, I always start with the pepper first, and I don't know why. Here we go. Some salt. Nice, just stir this for a second. Lid on, medium heat, 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it, but it'll take about 20 minutes, and then you can continue the process. While the sauce is finishing cooking and the water is coming up to boil for the pasta, here are the remaining ingredients you're going to need for the rest of the dish. Chicken breast, obviously, pounded thin, just like that. All-purpose flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, granulated garlic, provolone cheese, parmesan cheese, mozzarella, pepper, of course salt, parsley, basil, you're going to need a splash of milk, and of course you need spaghetti. Now. First thing we're going to do, before we touch the chicken, because remember, if you touch the chicken, you're going to have to go right and wash your hands. So get everything prepped before you do that. We're going to put in a splash of milk in with the eggs. Just like that. Beat them up just a little. Not too much. Perfect. Now I'm going to season my breadcrumbs. This is my little secret that I put in the breadcrumbs. I put in granulated garlic. Just adds more flavor, like that, beautiful. And we're going to salt and pepper, the breadcrumbs, the eggs, and the flour. Remember, you want to make sure you season every element of your dish so you get a nice rounded 
flavor so that every single layer is flavored. The breadcrumb, the chicken, everything. So, I'm just gonna mix this around just a tad. I'm gonna put in a little more garlic in the breadcrumbs. I love it, it's fabulous. But believe it or not, it's subtle, it's not very strong. So, here we go. Mixing this around. Now I'm using these pounded out chicken breasts like that. I buy them from the store like this, but if you can't find them, you can always buy about five ounce chicken breast and pound them yourself. But every grocery store carries them, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It's perfect for slices. It's amazing. Last one. Then we do eggs and the seasoned breadcrumbs. You wanna make sure everything is nice, nicely coated. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands and go to the stove and start cooking up our chicken collets. Now I have a large nonstick pan preheating with about three tablespoons of olive oil. You want it nice and hot. That's exactly what you want to hear. It's over medium high heat. I'm gonna do batches of two because I don't want to steam the chicken. I want to really get it nice and crispy. So what I'm gonna do this, it takes about four to five minutes on each side till it's nice golden brown and crispy and cooked all the way through. Chicken breasts are perfectly done, crispy on both sides. Turn the pan off. Now you want to let these rest for about 10 minutes while we finish our sauce and then we'll assemble the whole thing. My sauce has cooked now for about 25 minutes. Now I'm going to add up some, I'm going to add the chopped up Kalamata olives and chopped up fresh basil and parsley. As you can see, this is not going to be just a regular boring old chicken parm. It's going to be full of flavor, fresh herbs. The wine really comes through. It's amazing. Turn this off because you don't want to really cook the olives too long. Otherwise, they'll become really bitter and too strong. They'll kind of overpower the dish and you don't want to do that. The star of the dish is the chicken. That's how it's going to stay. Turn this off. I preheated the oven to 450. And now we're going to start layering. I'm just putting in a little bit of sauce. Not much. And I'm going to... Use my chicken breast like so. Just trying to do as best as possible so you can see. And now I'm just going to ladle some of the sauce over the chicken. Just like so. I'm just going to show you how I do one so that I can finish the rest of them. Now what I do is I take provolone cheese, two slices. Okay. Then we top it with some fresh mozzarella. And then we sprinkle parmigiano reggiano all over the top. Whoops. Like so. I'm going to just finish the rest of them and I'm going to pop them in the oven till the golden brown and bubbly on the top. Here we go. Chicken parm out. Look at that. Top is nice, golden brown and bubbly. I'm serving it with a nice, heaping, helpful of spaghetti, of course. Just like that. Mm. Cheese is nice and melted. It's full of flavor. I wish you could smell this. It's amazing. A little sauce right over the top. A little fresh basil, always. And here you have it. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely magnificent. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. To get this recipe and other recipes, visit my website, www.learnthekitchen.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.